Praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. A warm welcome to one and all of you, and I greet you in the name of our loving Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As always, I am happy, privileged to be part of these sessions. I trust and I have confidence that my God is capable to handle any situation, any problem in our lives. So I keep telling this to you: Do not lose heart for one reason that God is faithful. That is nothing else. It's not by your deeds. It's not by your standards is not by the number of years that you had spent in the christian christendom or being a christian um, or water baptism and this and that so yes these are all very important yeah your deeds can become like god bible says in matthew 5:48 you can become perfect like god but then never think <clears throat> and all is going well it's because of your deeds no that's grace and mercy that's grace and mercy and even if all is well with your deeds that is also a grace and mercy it's because of his grace that we received as free gift in the name of jesus through his blood that was shed on cross and he was laid a sin offering on the cross and you and i received this free gift to live like him yes and to live free of curses to live free of bondage free of sickness free of ailments free of worries troubles all of us have many problems in life right and god have taken me also through some of the very difficult path uh, that i just cannot explain because certain things are personal but i know what i have gone through in my life and i thank god for it because he is the one who permits problems he is the one who makes a way for me to escape out of that problem because he is faithful All right. A warm welcome to this series Agape Love of God which is unconditional, unimaginable, unmistakable, immeasurable, irrevocable, right? And uh, these are the things which makes that agape love of God which very special why because you will never be able to find this kind of love in any human being. Regardless of any relationship, your father, your mother, your wife, your husband, your children, your grandchildren, whoever it may be, they are all having no you know they're going to lack in one or other parameters not all of these parameters will be fulfilled except for god loving father who says my love is so steadfast and strong that until you are gray haired i am the lord will carry you in my hands i the lord will never leave you nor forsake you i the lord will always help you during the times of during diff- difficult moments in your in your life you you know i am the lord who will take care of you yeah your parents may forsake you, your friends may despise yeah and even the mother may forget to feed her baby but i the lord will never forget you that is the agape love definition a human beings yes a lot of people are known for their love amazing love but there are circumstances there are certain weaknesses there are certain saturation points there are certain turning points in life that they not able to exercise this love in its fullest measure some people don't do it willingly but unwillingly some people don't do it knowingly but unknowingly they end up compromising on this love but god is one person who remains solid strong steadfast that no one can change his mind no one can drag him out of that agape love that he that he that is burning in his heart that is strong in his heart This is our fourth episode and we are now dealing with this concept of love and marriage you know the previous episode was about relationship and uh, the episodes before that were about the detailed love we we went through the details from this love of god perspective yeah and i want you to know that all of these things convey one thing that agape love of god is so 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 supernatural and special and now we are talking from this love and marriage perspective why because you and i can become like god you and i could exercise that love of god right between couple now we are dealing through categories it's a categorical discussion we dealt with the relationships in general as an uni- as a universal topic but now we want to very specifically look at the relationship between husband and wife couple so if all goes well with the couple only then their children are going to get the right resources for their development many people think if they feed their children it's enough if they educate their children that's enough no there is something called as you know the moral uh, morality in the moral classes or what testimony 
you leave behind because they are the witnessing agents you know they witness everything that's happening between you and your husband that's happening between you and your wife and they pick all these things you, you are having a lot of negativity lot of negative elements that could influence your children and even their married life is not going to have not going to be very pleasing or happy yeah then don't be uh, don't be disappointed huh see i have given her the best of the education this and that no you didn't give the best of your um what to say your 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 life i mean to say you didn't give the best of your uh, what is the right word to use i'm thinking i'm thinking loud and hard you have never you have never lived as a good testimony <laughs> that's the right word quite a statement isn't it you have never lived as a good testimony you never exercised the word of god in and through you you never lived by the word of god as a role model in love and conduct and speech and faith and authority sorry in purity 1 timothy 4:12 and all the testimonies that you left behind in the minds and heart of your children they're all about negativity there is nothing good in that that they could learn your moral classes it 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 begins from your home you know that and you know who is the best person to teach that moral classes you you may send your children to any institute any college any school that teaches that morality and moral lessons and all that no 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 those may help only to the mark of 10 or 15 20 percent max the rest of all this nourishment they get from you as married couple and that's why we have kicked off this uh episode where we deal specifically about this married couple never think it's all about you know love and sexual intercourses and this and that so that's all going to happen naturally don't worry you don't need classes that will all be you know that's the law of nature law of nature will control everything all by itself it will happen spontaneously you don't have to do anything zero efforts needed certain things yeah but of, of course you you got to meet some sexologist if you have a problem that's a different thing i'm not uh, or meet a gynecologist for ladies and yes i'm not ref- i'm i'm not keeping you refrained from such things and you know? don't get get it wrong but you don't make you don't have to uh, make stupendous efforts to get there law apple naturally but these things will never happen naturally the relationship the exercise exercising of god's agape love in your life no it's not natural you need to make efforts so we had been dealing from proverbs 31 verses 10 to 17 we already dealt right and uh, we are talking through this concept of virtuous wife versus uh, righteous husband and both of these life partners opposite sex you get it from god i provided you make a decision or you have the desire that you want it from god then you get it from god <laughs> you don't want it from god then you do not get it from god probably you will get it from devil because the devil will send the right person according to his perspective who could be a disaster who could be a uh, destroyer who could be a destructor who could be an obstacle who could be a blocker for you to move ahead in your spiritual life yeah he has too many choices right 99% of the world is on his side obviously you're all surprised now oh no brother missionaries and all yeah they did a fantastic job to save 1% of the world huh. 99% in any form you take entertainment and uh, you know alcoholics and adultery and crime and you know uh, sorry you know the murders and rapes and business people looting money politicians and politics and rivalry and avenging and uh, if that is not enough you know there is other bunch of categories you want to read in bible gossiping murmuring lovers of themselves in second timothy 3 1 to 9 colossians 3 5 to 9 mark 7 21 to 23 galatians 5 17 to 21 1 timothy 1 9 and 10 and uh, 1 corinthians 6 9 and 10 uh, romans 1 29 to 32 romans 6 13 to uh, 20 and ephesians 4 31 enough huh? you will get caught somewhere i mean not you the world is getting caught somewhere in this and now tell me 99 now 1% itself is too much and you can't even find 1% of righteous people that will account to few lakhs few hundred thousands you know not so many people are going to be found by the lord when he comes down on earth bible says that will he find at least one <laughs> who is faithful to him <laughs> that's what you know the son of man when he descends again on earth will he be able to find even one 
i'm just converting into plural why because i want to motivate you somehow so i'm telling you this is possible possible but then not without an effort and that's exactly the reason why we are telling you that you know learn to be part of that 1% of people who want to be on the side of god doing the right things uh, walking according to the laws and commandments of god in adherence yeah abiding in the word of god abiding in the law of god like this is how king david walked and of course he was a carnal man he did a lot of mistakes but still god says you know he is the man after my own heart why because he always paid attention to the law of god and when god uh, convicts him that he is not right that he was sinful and all that he went he went and humbled himself and acknowledged his sin and he reconciled with god through repentance and he would never look back again show me anywhere king david committed the sin for the second time but i can show you enormous number of verses numerous verses in the bible how his son king solomon repeated the sin time and again even after god would tell him that ah oh, he is displeased with him this is called as arrogance this is called as being rebellious this is called as stout heart attitude stiff neck attitude proud heart attitude or hard heart attitude you don't care you're negligent you're ignorant uh, god will keep telling something brother but you know we are living in this world what does he know about it god knows pretty much more than you because he sent his only son to live in this world and he lived righteous and holy overcoming every single problem being tempted like you and me at all points all points means all points anything and everything jesus went through jesus went through grief sorrow sickness disease and uh, confrontations and battles spiritual battles anything anything read bible carefully truth about the cross series i've covered everything so married couple should understand that you really really need lot of guidance and revelation from the bible and bible is your not just a holy book divine book not just that you know it is definitely holy book divine book why because god my father wrote it only book he wrote and that's bible therefore it is definitely the holy book but my point here is you don't read it as a kind of a traditional book but you read it as a book of life which is enough guidelines uh, enough uh, you know doctrines and guidelines to help you to lead a better life the best life that 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 you could find in anyone you will be that best couple you will be that best man of god you will be that be- best women of god you will be the best prophetess you will be the best man in prosperity who would give all the money for charity that is a you, know, you are not able to believe there is a guy by name sam he is 29 years old he became billionaire 29 years old and you know what statement he gave the reason i want to big big become rich is to bless people therefore i could do more for the people and he he drives a very old car and he lives in a one bedroom apartment or something like that that's it <laughs> and he wears a shorts and a normal t-shirt and that's it that's it okay and this is how your husband is going to be this is how your wife is going to be provided you receive that gift that life partner as a gift from the hands of god and how can you how can you basically recognize Uh, is what we are dealing through right this will be the um post effects if you have received the life partner from the hands of god one thing second thing is if you want your life partner to be like someone what whom you are describing here from the word of god you better seek for that life partner from the hands of god how many of you are with me okay so verse number 18 how will be the character of this righteous husband or virtuous wife she perceives that her merchandise is good and her lamp does not go out by night two different things yeah she perceives good perseverance skills and don't look at from you know merchant merchandise merchandise means being involved in multiple professions and business and tactical decisions and sometimes need to do make political decisions to deal with certain tough people in this world but you don't become a politician but you you know how to deal things tactically don't look at only from the business orientation perspective or materialistic perspective uh, yeah this is how it is written but then then look at the word perceives perseverance skills and all you know tremendous knowledge and understanding in the midst of challenges she or he 
yeah virtuous wife righteous husband will be helping you to make the right decision full of confusions but when this person walks into your life ha ah, there is full of clarity full of calmness on the floor have you seen many people you know very few people many people are there to bring confusions but very few people are there to help you and help you to drag out of confusions you know they will bring such a solution you will see 200 problems resolved in one single moment because this person walked into your room or this person walked into your life i have seen very very few people in my entire career who are solution providers that's other word you know it's a corporate word but it's right you know term to use in this context your wife will be such a solution provider your husband will be such a person who will not only provide solution he will bring calmness he will bring he will restore that peace in your life restoration of peace money cannot buy this trust me grace and mercy of god can give this for free perseverance is not something that you can you can find in a person yeah in the midst of challenging situations she will be completely knowledgeable and she will develop that knowledge perseverance doesn't come all by itself no you want to know how this perseverance is getting built in you turn your bible with me to james chapter 1 verse number 2 my brethren count it all joy when you fall into various trials which means your wife or husband would have gone to so gone through so many problems and difficulties and hardships in life that they had learned out of hardships knowing that the testing of your faith to produce produces patience patience is very important skill to develop that good knowledge and understanding and therefore they persevere they 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 have that perseverance understanding but let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete lacking nothing you understand that is the definition of perseverance just don't look at a person oh so much of knowledge knowledge didn't did not come he did not go to market and buy 1 kg of knowledge <laughs> you you cannot quantify knowledge knowledge he acquired or she acquired because she went through so many difficulties he went through so many problems resolving those challenges confronting those challenges overcoming those difficulties and therefore he is able to deal with such a knowledge and maturity and experience uh, you, you what do you don't you want to get married to such a person don't look at color skin my beloved sister na my brother don't look at the long hair and this and that <laughs> and there is no scanning mission to scan perseverance and knowledge and all that only god can help you telling ultimately i'm trying to build a dependency on god and therefore you lack nothing because why you get married to such a person brother i'm telling you even if you were to exchange such a person for 1 kg of gold you will never get such a person money cannot buy it but god helps you only if you depend on him only if you wait on him what a blessing it's going to be isn't it you marry the most handsome guy but he's such a idiot dumb head fellow doesn't know even does some people you know you, they don't even understand the problem they don't even have the capacity to perceive a problem but the, where where in the world they are going to get you the solution for the problem beloved anybody in this situation already don't worry now also it's not too late you can pray for your husband yeah you can pray for your wife god will develop that perseverance god will instill that attitude don't worry this is the session is for both married and unmarried people unmarried people or oh, this is your best chance golden opportunity to already seek god unmarried people don't worry it's never too late you you got to just seek god and he is going to help you there right and her lamp does not go out by night it's night means it's not about to talking about the 6 pm onwards <laughs> you know night means it is indication of darkness and darkness is indication of problems that were unforeseen tragic events unforeseen sicknesses diseases problems job losses poverty stricken night darkness darkness dark situations in life we all go through that right all full of trouble in the world is full of trouble jesus said but do not be afraid john 14:1 and 27 why because i will teach you how to overcome Don't you want to don't you want to get married to such overcomers giants and champions to handle challenges in life yeah and teach you the ways to overcome now tell me where this color skin attitude is standing 
sorry skin color attitude is standing <laughs> externals i want a person exactly fight and height you will never get such a person in your life god will ensure that you will never get only then you will turn your focus towards god because why god loves you what is easy for god to do you know get you that fight and person who is an idiot who is a criminal uh, uh, who, who and, and, and then your life is ruined god will never allow that because he is loving father but then if you want to ruin your life god will never stop you <laughs> because why free will is given that free will to man and women both of you mankind right the darkness darkness she is not scared of it or your husband is never intimidated at dark situations doctor says something he says fine let's go about go and pray about it god has not said anything like that let us talk to god and let us wind up the matter after god says anything and he's going to strengthen you he's going to encourage you he's going to motivate you and the lamp is nothing but it's an indication indication of something called as you know lamp is nothing but you know when the lamp is going to give its light when there is oil in it right and what is the indication of oil learn to always read bible from spiritual tense do not look at lamp lamp is burning night and she will be burning which means what all night she will be praying somebody will say like that or they will say that 6 pm onwards she will be uh, you know always awake to save god at home this and that nonsense lamp is nothing but she gives light light means what only when there is oil oil is what oil is anointing of the holy ghost she will be blessed with anointed gifts of the holy ghost which is described in 1 corinthians 12 1 to 11 and 1228 so many gifts miracle working gift healing gift and praying gift and teaching gift and preaching gift and uh, all these things wisdom gift of spirit of wisdom and knowledge and discerning spirit that is enough brother i am telling you more than enough with that you can turn the world upside down <laughs> sorry to tell you this right many people want to be miracle workers only what if you are a idiot having zero wisdom and knowledge you are useless for god and for this world you are such a heavy mass that's it you are a piece of thing and uh, you know what the devil will start to love you why because he needs idiots spiritual idiots that too <laughs> in the name of jesus he will keep on fooling you and your destiny is hell and you will lead other 20 people to hell or maybe more than that that's called as anointing the sister is so anointed and powerful that she is ready to pray she is ready to overcome and not only that she has the fruit of the spirit that is also part of anointing you know what faith love peace joy patience kindness self control what is what else gentleness long suffering no problem with her no problem with that brother you know you, you don't you think you need such a husband who will never lose his patience during dark situations such as you know you did a, you, you did a you did a terrible mistake and it caused such a big loss the fellow will say no problem darling come here don't worry it's the past is past don't worry but don't do this again what did you learn he's going to teach you certain things he's not going to abuse you curse you accuse you yell at you how many times did i tell you not to do this no <laughs> you will never see him lamp blasting but he will be kind enough to forgive you he will be patient enough to teach you he will be you know tolerant enough to bear your stupidity but still he will work with you through his anointed gifts uh, and he will teach you wisdom he will teach you knowledge what a loving husband yeah what a loving wife some husbands are idiots and wives are very patient teaching them enough this is exactly called as you know her lamp does not go out by night Okay, verse number nineteen. In the interest of time, we will move on. All right, I think you have fair understanding on perseverance and the Holy Spirit anointing, which really builds a person knowledgeable and also with that courage, he or she is able to not give up. Yeah, their life life partner. Many people they give up on their life partner. Right now, this is a uh what is a hopeless case and something like that you know you will never give up on your life partner you will stay with them only death can depart uh only death can make you part ways but nothing else but you will fight for it yeah god is going to be responsive the next one is she stretches out her hands to the 
distaff and her hands holds the spindle distaff or spindle is the same meaning it's a it's a stick kind of thing you know she holds it so two uh, characteristic features nomenclature that you and i can learn is nothing but she stretches out her hands to the distaff means she will not be a compromiser or your righteous husband will never be a compromiser or complacent more than compromising it's complacent yeah but he will be stretching more both from this materialistic and from the spiritual perspective he will be never complacent i want something until i'm 40 years old or 45 let me resign let me stay at home i have seen i have heard some, certain people you know taking volunteer retirement at a very very young age no all of you should work hard as long as your health permits the retirement age is 58 stipulated by the government and please work if you can if the situation allows if uh, your health allows if you don't meet in any kind of you know tragedy or whatever right you know you please work but you don't have to stretch and work stretching means uh, you know killing yourself you're not a workaholic you you will never be a workaholic but you will be never be a person who is complacent in a, in, in everything that you did in the past you will be inventing new methods you will be finding new ways that's why you will see a lot of believers or successful businessmen too right and they will be innovative also and all these innovations and inventions it's cometh from god why because this beloved brother or sister had definitely shot god for help and that's why you will see them stretching out their hands uh, to hold something different right and it's it's also talking about that hard working nature they will never be sluggish we covered that in our previous sessions already they will never be sitting idle they will never be uh, someone who would be waiting for something to reach them but they will try to reach out to something for example i didn't get work brother i'm praying and waiting at home nothing will happen 20 years 30 years 40 years you will live like that and you will die like that i know a person in my own family uh, in my blood relations i'm telling you and uh, yeah that guy is uh, was uh, 30 then he became 35 40 45 now heading towards 50 still jobless and he's still blaming the government of india still blaming employment exchange this and that what is he yeah bunch of you unclean spirits have basically occupied him and he is demonic according to me you will never see that attitude in your husband or in your wife yeah your wife will basically be homemaker but in the remaining time that she would get uh, she would be weaving some clothes or doing something you know to fetch a little money and to support her husband that's her attitude or probably she will invest in, at that time in building her knowledge and skills and uh, being a blessing to her children and you know and her hand holds the spindle holding means what you know whatever may be the challenges they face at workplace for example good example right they will never ever give away that work i was there many times i made the decision to quit my job because of a terrible boss or a horrible colleague or this and that blaming others god taught me something hey you know what you are a demon because the accuser of the brethren is at work day and night blaming and accusing his brother you know the children of god revelation 12 10 who are you <laughs> you are a evil person according to god and i said on that day i mean long ago long long ago i would never use that word i want to quit my job i want to look for a job i'm a, I have a job i'm a look for a change yeah i stuck to the same company for more than close to 16 years now and god taught me that yeah, and in this journey of 16 years i would have definitely made the decision to quit attended interviews in different companies this and that but each time god would pull me back saying that hey i have shown you this company i have got you this job stick to it so many times in my life you know this is from the spiritual angle materialistic angle we spoke from spiritual angle and from life right the perspective of life i would want to give up on so many good qualities because of the pressures enough of this pressures choking me let me give it up some of the good characters you know but god would say no you need to be an overcomer that's called as holding holding the spindle holding to that anointed gifts given to you by god holding to that the fruit of the spirit which we discussed in the previous verse you will never be a compromiser you will never be a person who will live, live in complacency either yeah you will never compromise on your spiritual standards 
you will never be complacent on your materialistic standards ah this is enough no no nothing is enough i'm not saying you should be a workaholic and uh, having that attraction towards the materialistic deeds why would you earn more so that you could bless more people is that your intention god is going to surely surely expand he will add no sorrow to it he will teach you to profit bible says and you will see that happening for sure in your life i'm a firm believer i'm a living witness too it never nothing came for free nothing came by luck and all right in my life at least my wife is the witness and i'm the witness for my wife we both worked very hard we stuck to our uh, divine will and the plan and the vision that god planned uh, would plant in our heart that despite of all problematic situations so we see that uh, the hands of god blessed us why because we never took off our hands from what god gave us to hold we held on to his promises another aspect is you you hold on to his promises you hold on to his anointed anointing anointed gifts given to you from above for free you hold on to the fruit of the spirit those characters which god had taught you you hold on to the experiences that you had learned in the past you hold on to your faith you hold on to your you know that confidence and trust you have in god you hold on to all those past uh, you know experiences which had taught you to overcome you is holding on to the ground all right with that we close hope today's session was a very useful and a fruitful one i hope you have learned a lot of things as a couple what it is to be walking in perseverance and what it is to clinging to the anointing of the holy ghost and and what it is to hold on to the promises god bless you heavenly father we want to thank you for this wonderful time and opportunity bless my brothers and lead us by your side in jesus name we pray please subscribe to our channel get access to all our playlists share it with your friends and continue to remember me and our ministries in your personal prayers god bless you.